This could possibly be one of our city contract employees. Uh, this is Solange, and we've been talking to John Gordon with Boys Grow about possibly using goats to clear out some of our vacant, vacant grounds, especially those that are really overgrown um, that we just can't get to with the number of mows that we do. As you guys know, everybody knows we spent about a hundred, oh, excuse me, $1.4 million mowing vacant lots, and that's still not getting it. So we need to do something that's a little bit innovative. Kansas City is a home of innovation, and uh, why not goats? They use them in a lot of different cities, New Orleans, some in Florida, and I just learned not too long ago that we, they use them at, at the Louvre in Paris. So we just, we need to be able to take a lug off of the general fund. And if this is something that's going to help, we're gonna do whatever we can to make it happen. Uh, John is doing some pilot projects and uh, he'll come back with uh, some information for us so we will know how much it will cost and hopefully how much we can save uh, the city. So at Boys Grow, we teach education and entrepreneurism. And one thing, um, one key to entrepreneurism, you find a problem that exists and you see if you can't find the solution. So through talking, uh, talking with some of the city officials, they mentioned some of the problems with the overgrown lots and some of the uh, need for some alternative measures as far as taking care of those lots. So we kicked around with the boys and you know it's, it's, it's not going to happen overnight, but we had the idea of potentially using our goats as the new lawnmowers, as the new pesticides, where we can go through and actually unleash our goats and let them clear some of the land in a more organic, sustainable way. Yeah, so right now we have four dairy goats and uh, it's, you need a different kind of breed to actually do the clearing. So we're gonna get a couple of boar goats. We'll probably get a half dozen or so. And our, our hope is this year just to get a small plot and, and try it on a small level and kind of see what that looks like. And then maybe in 2016, bump it up to where on a, on a bigger level. But for 2015, just kind of take it, take it one step at a time, see how it works, and then, and then take it from there. 